going to be called the ball. That's going to be the first walk here for Vladimir. Now passing number 22, Jake Jaren Chazakram. Still another ball. That's four consecutive balls already here. Between two batters. Nati is actually the starting pitcher for Thailand, so they don't have any designated hitter. The Philippines will start off with a DH in Bernardo. At the top, that's going to be a hit. That's going to advance the runner. He's going to third, and he's going to get there. Now Thailand has runners at the corners early here in the first inning. Bosito wasn't charging that one. If he was a little more aggressive, they might have been able to get Nadi at third. Now we have Tongbai. First strike here for Tongbai. He's in a clean up spot. Big boy. Oh, Thailand definitely will want nothing more. A victory here over the Philippines. Every victory over the Philippines is huge for them. One on one to count. They're going to turn the double play. And Egea gets out of trouble early here. Bottom of the first inning as Team Thailand takes the field, introducing the fielding positions. First baseman number five, Sestika. Second baseman number one, Nalua Boy Mokasem. Third baseman number seven, Sigiko Amor. Shortstop number eleven, Tongwon Mutikon. Left outfielder number 22, Jake Jaren Chaisenbrown. Center outfielder number 6, Jason Now we got the starting lineup here for the Philippines. Their batting order. Bernardo de DH, De Vera, Carillon, Manaig, Escanio, C, Pareja, Liguayan, and Bosito. And the starting pitcher, number 12, Sidapo Nadi. Now we're going to have the defense here of Thailand. Their pitcher, we mentioned a while ago, is Nadi. Dong Bai, their catcher. Sitikao at first. Second is Mokasim. Aung Myung at third. Shortstop, Wutikorn. And their fielders, Chai Song Kram, Daru, and Prachai. That is left, center, and right field. Adrian Bernardo now. They got their DH at the top. Bernardo was in the lineup yesterday, also at the top, but he was also in the field at second base. That hit quite well, but the left fielder was right there. Sabi nga nila tapat. For the first out here. Now passing number 9, Lord Abercrombie Vera. 
Now we have Lord De Vera, the shortstop. He's been solid at his spot. And he's got good stuff early here as he gets strike one on De Vera. His sinker there. And that's going to drop. De Vera with the hit there to left field. Philippines wants to be able to start strong. Put as much pressure as they can on that D. You can see just a little bit of hesitation there from Chai Song Kram. He could have chased that one and then just had the center fielder Daru go behind him. He might have been able to make the play. He was of two minds. A line that to drop. That is going to stay in. That should score for the Philippines here. And especially since it's bobbled. De Vera going. It's going to be a close play at the plate. No, it's not going to be. The throw was off. And Carrion finally is able to deliver. They expect a whole lot from this young man. Born in Japan to Filipino parents. Carrion. Plays in the Japan League. A slight bobble there by Prachai will cost him a run. Maneig now. We'll get a strike. That's going to drop. And that will score easily for the Philippines. They're going to try to make a play at the plate. India Abut yung pato ng center fielder. And very quickly, the Philippines up two to nothing. The two runs early here for the Philippines and a nice smile there from an egg. Here comes Ignacio Escanio. He actually did very well in those two losses against Japan. That one hits straight to third base. That's going to advance Manei. It's actually a very good play there by the third baseman on Myung. That was hit hard. He stopped it with his body. That was the way you're supposed to do it. He's going to feel that tomorrow, though. Harper, Gerald C. now. That was close. All the ball, though. Has actually pitched quite well, but the batters are just ramming him. There's another one here, pushed there to right field. Maneg is gonna score and gonna get to second base. Standing up is Harper C. Harper C there with one RBI. Rachai tried. He's had to do most of the running here from the Thai squad in the outfield. It's now three to nothing for the Philippines. Pareja. Channeled Pareja, the third baseman. Also played yesterday and was in the exact same spot 
at seventh in the batting order. That's popped up. And have to retire the side of the Philippines, but the Philippines now leads three to nothing after the first two. The score is three to nothing. Team Philippines leads. Now that's it. Number seven, Sidibok Amor. Fujian Chao Chang, Chi Chuyen, Chi Top of the second. Ikea back on the mound, and right now he's got a three run lead. On Myung, the third baseman. What an exceptional play a while ago. Denying Escanio. A base hit. <laughs> Struck. The third base. Making the tag there is Escanio. Tagged out. One out. This can you looking over a third? Hey, why are you making life difficult for me? But I had more than enough time to make an accurate throw, but it was off. But Escanio, the veteran, knew exactly what he needed to do. But obviously telling Pareja, make things easier the next time. Now we have Woodcorn. Woodicorn. Check that. Woodicorn is a shortstop here for Thailand. Not had a ball hit his way yet. Most of the shots of Team Philippines have been in the outfield. Last two pitches of Igea coming up short. He should be a little bit more relaxed now because he's got a comfortable three to nothing lead. Though this is Thailand, and they are capable of coming back. There's a strike. Two and two is the count here to Wutikorn. There is one out. It's going to be called the ball. He was hoping that paint to the corner. No, says our Japanese umpire. That's fouled back. Kind of battle here. Is Wutikorn. So far here has been advantage Agia. That'll be popped up. Harper waving everybody back. And then coming in is Devera. Snatching that from him. But at the end of the day, a 
as long as they make the play. But there's Harper and CZ pushing him off, saying, I was calling you off. Pumasa pa rin si Tibera, but ang importante, nakuha pa rin. Tibera wanted to get into the action quickly. Now we have Prachay. That's definitely high. Nice to see Team Philippines a little loose now. It looks like they were so tight yesterday. Not in, it's the difference of being tight. As you see the first strike there on, probably overconfident yesterday. A lot of base running errors. A lot of fielding mistakes. But they need to be able to stay clean here. Didn't harm them yesterday in that five to nothing victory, five to one victory rather, over Hong Kong. But Hong Kong has really improved by leaps and bounds. That will be in the count two and two off that swing and a miss from Prachai. So far, Aguilla with a walk and no strikeouts yet. And there's a strikeout. Strikeout, three outs, and up the top. Guess he hurt me. I will retire the side. Watch this one from Aguilla. Definitely got Prachai to swing there. Now we have Liguayan. Taking a strike there. That swing. Sinker, not dropping in time. Still Nadi there at the mound. Nadi, Sierra Pop. Only 98 kilometers per hour, you can see. Not too much behind that. That one, down the gut. Popped up though. To center field, Fly out. One taking out. care of business. Was the route? Now batting number 16, Owen Bosito. Now we have the ninth batter, Bosito, who plays left field. He came in in relief in the seventh inning yesterday. And I play small ball. They're going to let that roll. It does. It rolls all the way past the line. Well played there. On Myung made sure that it crossed the line the moment it did. Picked it up. That's going to be another strike here. 
So 0 and 2 the count. Lamang kaagad. Ito si Nadi. Gonna go away. That dropped a little earlier than he would have wanted to. Ball one. Getting he popped up. Easy play there. By Chasong Kram. Balik tayo sa tapat. Sa taas ng order. After yung sa tapat na palo ni Posito. As we have Adrian Bernardo. His second at bat. Now listed as DH yesterday. He was in the field playing second. Kaasalan was removed from the DH spot. Ayan na si Bernardo. Be a strike there for Bernardo. He's thinking of checking on that swing, but he did go around. It's only the third ball. He swung, and the previous pitch was called a strike. That's a good hit. The right field once again. They've been pushing towards that right field. And it's worked to their advantage. Nice miles there. John John Robles in the dugout. Now De Vera, the shortstop. Take a ball there. Double checking the signals first. Oh, with two outs. Expect Bernardo to be running. He's gonna get caught. That'll retire the side. Good play there. Right down. Three outs. End of the second. Nice throw there from Tong Bai. That's going to end the second inning. The Philippines still on top. Three to nothing. Hey, Now that's it. Number five, Sensi Dubai. Holding up there was Sitikau. Sitikau is the first baseman here for Thailand. His first at bat.
fouled back for strike one. Will they be able to make the play? Catch, 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 catch. He had space. That's why Pareja was disappointed. He lost that momentarily, and that's all it took. Could have been out number one. But still, Aguia ahead here. Laban K. Sitikao. De Vera to Escanio. Four stalls, one out. One down. Now that's it. Number one, now the board more percent. As you have coming up, the bottom of the order. This is Mon Kasem batting in the ninth spot. That's going to be a strike, they say. Simpling, simpling, game plans. I've been Pepe Munoz. This morning when I had the chance, I mean, the game plan is really just to hit hard and score as many runs as possible. They've been wanting to get those bats to really crack, but it hasn't been working. It's not like They were happy about the bats waking up against Hong Kong, but they weren't able to sustain it. That today, it'll start off, and it did in that first inning. Now sustaining it is the next order of business. Not getting Wong Kasem to swing there. That's a decent pitch, though. That's what they're trying to get. Strike out. Two outs. Second out here for Thailand and the second strike out. Now back in number six. Vladimir Gia. He does have one walk. Now to the top of the order. As we have Daru. Getting his stuff to really work here. Strike one's the call. Oh, that's going to be strike two. at the tournament as a whole after the first two losses the Philippines now on a two game winning streak defeating Lao and Hong Kong well, some may say but in the end you still gotta play the game and Team Philippines got the job done and they're gonna get the job done here so far against Thailand as they lead three to nothing at the middle of the third
Now that's it. Number nine, Lord Harry Montebello. 出钱，场上踢球员九号。De Vera now in the batter's box. It's going to be De Vera, Carrion, and Manaig. George Stop, Lord Aragorn, De Vera. So it seems like Nadi struggling here a little bit. Get a solid second inning though. Oh. Struck hard, but not hard enough. Directly under it there. One out. One out. In the roof. Actually didn't really have to move. Now back in number 23, John Drew Carrion. Now back in number 23, John Drew Carrion. John Hill carry on now. Foul ball. Very hard right there. Foul ball for carry on. Definitely high. Two and one to count now here to Carrion. Sinker is a strike, they say. Carrion will foul that one back. Getting additional baseballs there was our Japanese umpire. Now we're good to go. That was high. Just. Three and two now to count. That's fouled back once again. Keep up with the 19th Asian Games action anytime and anywhere. Download and subscribe. Filipinas Live. All right, now you're watching the baseball action here. We're coming to you from the SX Baseball Softball Center. Here in Hangzhou. Push there. That's smart hitting. Away from his power, but nonetheless, you know what you're on. Runner on first. Now that's it. Number 18, Mark Steven Manai. Now the catcher, Manaig. Mark Steven Manaig. Strike one's the call. Philippines wants to get things going once again here in the third. They try to make sure that Carrion stays there at first base. That's going to drop. Carrion's going to get the third. They're going to try to make the play. There was no way you're going to catch it. Manaig also wasn't going to go to the Philippines now as runners at the corner. At the corners, check that.
Two hits already for Maneik. He's two out of two. Now we have Escaño. He had a solid grounder towards third base, which drew an exceptional play from Anmuang. It's a strike, they say. That looked like it was out, but that's the call. Ignacio Luis Escaño. Escaño was able to win a championship in his very first year with De La Salle University. And during his junior and senior years, he was the team captain. Big swing. But it's not going to be enough. That's going to be enough to score one, though. They get to the warning track. Maneg. Not trying. Now that's number 55, Harper Jarrell C. Now, the number 55, RBI though for Escaño. They weren't even going to try. They went straight to second base and so Manaig couldn't tag up. Harper C. Had a good hit to right field. It was so good he was able to get to second base. Another one up the middle. They're going to try to get Manaig. Not quite sure they needed to try that particular play because Manaig was there safely. Two and two as well for Harper C. So runners at first and at second. That was ill advised. There's no way you were going to get him. Or nothing for the Philippines. Now we have Janel Pareja. Two outs. The Philippines trying to keep this going. It's just out. Two balls now here. Should be a strike, it is. That'll be another hit. Don't think Maneg is gonna go. They're gonna send him. This is gonna be a close at the plate and catcher not able to pick up that throw. That would have been close. It would have been a big collision there between Tongbai and Manaig. Two big, burly individuals. But Tongbai not able to come up with it. Watch it here. So an RBI here. Don't buy it, pick that up. That would have been an earthquake there at the home plate. But the Philippines will score once again. They got runners at second and third now. Bosito. Just foul. Check that. That's the Guayan. Bosito is up next. He's on deck. That is going to go to the shortstop, to retire the side. The Philippines has added two more as they now lead five to nothing after three. 
The score is five to nothing. Team Philippines leads. 目前场上比分五比零，菲律宾队领先。For Team Philippines is now number 12, Kennedy Torres. Philippines is going to be the first one. Shot on the It's going to be the first out quickly here. Why now? Hong Chang, now in the first one. Philippines trying to make quick work as we have a youngster now on the mound. Torres is now on the mound here for the Philippines. Second strike there for Kennedy. So the Philippines making a change. They do have a lot of pitchers. They want to be able to make sure that they get all of them involved. A lot of heat in that one. It goes to De Vera. Routine play. Forced out. Two outs. Two outs now here. Now that's eight, number 53, Jalabi Jumbai. Now that's eight, number 53, Jalabi Jumbai. It's going to be strike one here. Kennedy's throwing the heat. That one's low. Keep up with the 19 Asian Games action anytime and anywhere. Download and subscribe. Filipinas Live. In Philippines now. With a 5 to nothing lead and a swing and a miss there. We'll bring the count to 1 and 2. That's the catcher. Tongbai. Kanina pag gustong palitan ng Japanese umpire yung bola. Finally able to do so. After two pitches hit the ground. That was way out there. No way you're gonna get Tong Bai to swing at that one. Here, the rest of the team Philippines telling Kennedy to just give him a pitch to hit. And the defense said, We'll do our job. Well, we will get the job done here. Three up, three down. And retire the side of Thailand and the Philippines. Still up. Five to nothing. The score is five to nothing. Team Philippines leads. 目前场上比分五比零，菲律宾队领先。
Philippines already up five to nothing. They want more. Strike one, they say here. That's on Bosito. So it's Bosito, Bernardo, and Devera up. That's going to drop in the middle. Bosito's just going to look, but there's no way he's going to advance. But nonetheless, a very good hit here. Now we have Adrian Bernardo, the DH. Boy, the Philippines can get a mercy rule going here. That would be perfect. Bosito going, that's going to be close. The throw wasn't on target there from Tongbai. Bosito there, a danger. This guy has got speed on the basis. Brave is at bat here for Bernardo. He had to hit the right field. Goes right above second base. And Bosito's just going to stop. Runner on corner. Gonna bring up the Vera. Nice stretch there. But not enough. Lord Aragorn de Vera. He can get an RBI here. Struck hard. Errant throw. Bosito's gonna walk in. Thailand here having to scramble. Bernardo at the plate. They're not gonna get him. Two runs scored. Actually, that was a very good play by Bosito. He showed the third baseman that he was gonna try to make a go. Watch it here. Third baseman looked at him, threw. Aaron throw and the Philippines taking advantage. Look at this close play. Well, he made the contact with the home plate already. Philippines tax on another two. They've got a runner at third. Now, John Hill Carrion. So close. And Nadi wanted it, was begging for it, really. Nice look there. At the Vera, who's at third. That should be enough to score another one. Fly out. One out. There's going to be no Good throw at the plate. Our run scored for two Philippines again. 
Marion did his job. Here comes Manaig. Nobody on base, and the Philippines trying to get some more base runners. <laughs> Manaig there will take a strike, and he knew it. Eight to nothing now for the Philippines. Manaig's going to take a swing. That's going to record a second out here for the Philippines. Good play there by now we have Ignacio Escanio. That was wild. That one off to the other side. Medyo na bubulabog na ng konti rito si Nadi. He's already given up eight runs. Ooh, that's gonna be called a strike. Two balls, one strike here against Escaño. There are two outs for the Philippines. Another good pitch. So Nadi finally has settled down, but the problem is he's given up another three runs here at the bottom of the fourth. Make contact there. Escanio is going to be called out at first. Three outs. The Philippines. Their side retired, but again, they add another three runs and they increase their lead as they now lead eight to nothing. Philippines now going with a new pitcher as they send Nerosa to the mound. Actually, just one inning for Kennedy. Kennedy Torres did quite well there in the fourth. Kennedy Torres is actually only 20 years old. UAAP regular season MVP. And now we have Raymond Nerosa. Talagang gumagamit ng mga pitchers. Ang Philippine team ngayon sa araw na to. Final outing of the Philippines here in baseball competition. And why not? Second action for Nerosa here in this tournament. The catcher for Team Philippines is now number 26, Alfredo de Guzman. De Guzman is also checked in here. Para kay Manaig. So the coaches of Team Philippines wanted to make sure that they're using everybody. But they 
they have here at their disposal. And Muang, in the batter's box, he's got three balls. That's going to be the first strike here for De Rosa. That's low. Base on balls, burger on first. Ball sold to Lei, Paul Liu, Gong Zhen, Yi Lei. Now that's it. Number 11, Song Wu with the call. Now in front of the catcher, Xu Hao. Wu the call now. The man on base. Speed there from Nerosa. Philippines looking for a double play here. Carrion. Fly out. Making that play. We're the first out here. Number 23, Sakai Brachai. in the batter's box. That's going to advance. That's going to be a hit as well for Prachai. And Moang stays at second base, though. So runners at first and at second here. Of that hit from Prachai. Struck solidly there to his strong side. Which is high. Also in a bit of a pain here. Top of the. Erosa is from Adamson. He actually just finished his UAAP eligibility. He hails from Tupi, South Cotabato. I'd like to thank Pepe Munoz for that information once again. Pepe, one of the officials of Philippine Amateur Baseball Association. Headed by Chito Loisaga, President, Vice President Boy Tingson, and Pepe, their sec gen. Expect bigger things to come from baseball here. With those gentlemen in charge. Two nothings to score, one out, and three balls, no strikes. Dito kay Sitikaw. That's a strike. A lot of theatrics here from the home plate umpire on that delayed call. But definitely a strike. Three and one to count. Thailand has one in scoring position. Running, and he's got. He's they getting getting him out? Yes, definitely. Why was he still standing there? Fooling, holy Sharon. Oh, the runner should have been. Well, actually, the runner was waiting for the swing. But Sitikao didn't swing. Kawawa yung base runner dun. And it's gonna be a strikeout here. And that's gonna retire the side. Nerosa 
end of the top of the pitch. It's out of that bind. Thailand left, shaking their heads there. The score is 8 to nothing. Team Philippines leads. Now that's it, number 55, Harper Jarosee. Harper C, trying to start things off, but his shot, Direcheron, a Wutikorn. Now that's it, number one, General Karaha. Karaha now. That's going to be a strike there for Pareja. Philippines now leads eight to nothing here at the bottom of the fifth. Swing there. It's going to be 0 and 2. Coming up is Lee Guayan. Struck well, but. Center fielder will take care of business. Not having to move much was Daru. Now batting, number six, Kyle Sobrano. Now they have Kyle Sobrano in the place of Liguayan. Philippines definitely now going to their bench. That's going to be a good hit there by Soberano. Coming in in relief. He's probably wondering why wasn't that there against Japan? Why wasn't that there against China? Up there to left field. We now have Bosito. That's going to be all oh, strike one there. Erwin Bosito playing left field. Oh, the big question for the Philippines is in the sixth inning, who are the pitchers do they send in? Kennedy Torres just did one inning. And then Nerosa also with just one inning. Good job though for Kennedy and Raymond. They're not gonna have a play. Runner on second, congratulations. Will easily get there. Check that. That's it. Soberano, Asposito is at the plate.
Thailand really just worried about Posito more than anything else. But Soberano is now in scoring position. It's not going to matter. Three outs. As Anwang makes the play. That's going to end the fifth. But after five, the Philippines still with a commanding eight to nothing lead. Hello 好那我们现在呢先来去一下第一题来有请导播 啊，非常抱歉，是一九五一年啊。那我们来看一下下一题好不好？赶紧抓紧时间。好，那第一个亚运会现在哪一个城市举办的呢？有没有朋友知道？有没有？小朋友知道呀？选什么？选B是不是？
觉得可能是 B， 也就是说是猜的嘛，对不对？那我们来看看你猜的对不对啊？三二一，来，请公布答案。恭喜，是咱们一九九零年的北京亚运会，好，真棒，真棒！来，请工作人员为您送上礼物，谢谢。好的，来继续下一题。下列哪一个是绍兴特色？我们来给这边的观众一个机会，好不好？黄酒，黄酒，对不对？恭喜！小朋友应该没有喝过吧？啊，那就好。<笑>小朋友不可以饮酒啊，很好喝。来，有请工作人员。好，我们还有下一题吗？好的，那我们来继续看下一个问题。好，绍兴有多少年的建成史？有没有人知道？好，我们来试试看这边，来这位，选 B， 我们来看一下是不是正确答案。恭喜答对了。好的，那本节的这个互动环节啊，到这里就暂时告一段落了。大家都非常的热情，我也感觉到了。再次答应我，把你们的热情延续到咱们的赛场上，好不好？声音不够大，三二一，好不好？You now rejoin the action here at the top of the sixth. And Pineda is now on the mound. John John, check that. Joshua Pineda. It's going to be a walk there. Runner on first. 出身九，保送上垒，跑的人攻占一垒。Was he was against Japan. Wasn't the best of outings for Pineda. He'd like to be able to recover though. They need him to pitch well. This is going to be for his confidence. Moving forward, you see the coaching staff was very careful in making sure when they bring him in, he must still be reeling from that experience against Japan. That pitch is low. It's going to get away from De Guzman. Runner on second. So the runner will advance. Fouled back there. Struck out the last time he was at bat. Fly out. What can he do against Pineda here? Gets a lot of that one. Foul ball. Why now? Walk us in. Back over there. Do we spot at second? Now we have the pitcher Nadi. But we're going to send in a replacement for Nadi. In is. Pakorn, Chakao. Right, 
27 kilometers per hour, the pitch speed there of Pineda. Well, getting that first out should settle him down. Clarence Kasalan is also in the ball game now at second base. Strike on that swing and a miss there. There's Soberano on your screens in the outfield. That's low. Two and one the count now. That's John John Robles in the field. Ginagamit na lahat ng mga players ng coaching staff. Well, they're hoping this just gets to seven. Still staying there at seven. Second base is Mokasen. There's just one out. De Guzman with a good stop there. Three and one to count. Pineda is going to get the three and two. That's high. Base on balls, runner on first and second. First walk there for Pineda. Pepe Munoz coming into your screens there. Checking out the lineup. As we have Sai Song Kram. Ned is going to get a strike there. I'd like to see these young pitchers really just grow before your very eyes. Ball called there. Actually trying to get a swing there from Chaison Kram. A lot of movement there in that pitch from Pineda. Okay, okay, okay. Good track, good track. Okay. That's low. It'll be a close play. Safe. Strike out. Two outs. Runner on corner. Oh, there's a strike out there. The first here for Pineda. Now that's it. Number 32. There is that steal. And the throw just a little late. Joshua Pineda from the LSU. Actually, the 2023 UWAP Championship Series MVP from Concepcion Tarlac. Again, thank you, Pepe, for that info. Kasalan trying to make the play. No. And Thailand will score one. 
And you can see their coaching staff happy. They finally get on the board. That's Harper C there. Sapan is in. Sapan also coming in. In relief here. Strike one here. One and one the count. Strike there. One and two is the count. That's high. Wilds already here for Team Philippines, but their lead has been cut down to seven. That's going to be another strikeout here. A second for Pineda. And he retires the side as Thailand gets on the board with one. But they still trail eight to one. Number three, Benjamin Rafael Samiento. Fujian Chang Chang, New pitcher here for Thailand in Lin Supakorn. He'll be facing Rafael Sarmiento. Strike there. One and one's the count. 
important for these pitchers to be able to see a first strike. It's straight to short. Sorry, Mieta's retired. Brick, as they call him, Brick Sarmiento. Now the scene number 15, Clarence Live Casalan. Now we have Casalan. It'll be a strike there. Devera's day is done as Casalan checks in for him. Casalan was in the DH spot yesterday in that win against Hong Kong. Foul back, one and two, the count. Third and Kasalan will be the second out here at the bottom of the sixth. Pretty good relief job being done so far here by Lin. Now batting number 23, John Yu Now Karyon. Had a great day so far. He's two out of three. With a sacrifice fly. Both of them. Both of them. He's got two RBIs. Low ball. That's going to be popped up. And the Philippine side retired quickly here. And at the bottom of the six, but they still lead by seven. Eight to one. The score is eight to one. Team Philippines, please. Philippines now going with a different pitcher here. At the top of the seventh, it's now Renato Samuel. Samuel actually listed as a catcher and he did play some 
spot duty the catcher position. He's going to yield the hit here. Just out of the reach of Kaasal, and he was a fraction of a second late. Strike one here. Dean Supakorn, the pitcher. Thailand has a runner on first. They are finally able to break into the scoring column in the previous inning. Got to get it going here. Well, it's going to be a strikeout here for Samuel, his first. Well, now we have Bunam, the new catcher. Philippines will try to get to the mercy rule if they can here. Mercy rule is the team up by 15 at the end of five innings. Or up by 10 at the end of seven. One and two now on Mira Witt. That's going to be the third strike and the second strike out here for Samuel. Bunam will go down. Watching. Who out here? Samuel looking real comfortable there in the mound. Now we have Mo Kasim. Side. Philippines not really worried about the runner at first. As Samuel has struck out two straight batters. That's high. Three straight balls. It's going to be the first walk here for Samuel. Samuel is the LSU's starting catcher and also the backup catcher of the national team. In previous matches, he hails from Antipolo.
back now to Daru. Top of the order. That struck well. And the left fielder was going to make the play. Mosito was right there. He's got range. He showed it there. And Thailand will be two runners stranded. Welcome back to our coverage of the 19th Asian Games. And we focus on baseball here this afternoon. It's the Philippines up against Thailand. It's going to be strike number one here on De Guzman, the backup catcher. Actually, Samuel, as you mentioned a while ago, is also a catcher here for the Philippines. But right now, they've sent in De Guzman. Solid strike, just foul. Foul ball. It's De Guzman, Escanio, and C. Unless they opt to replace Escanio, who has played so far the entire match. Fouled back. There's room, yes, what a play there. For An Wang. Good range shown there. And one city chop for the first out. And John John Robles checks in here for Escanio. John John Robles. Stick him at first. Very quickly, 0 oh 2 now. Shoelace first. Pitcher says he's good to go. That's still Lin. That's high. Very high there on Robles. That'll bring the count to two and two. Well, if Lin has read the scouting report on Robles, this is an individual that can knock it out of the park. Sent right back there to Lin. With one out, the Philippines will have Robles at first. Now we have Harper C. 
one of the remaining starters for Team Philippines. That's called foul. So Robles will have to go back. Two hits here today for Harper C. Also has an RBI. Good stats for the day. And still trying to add to it. One and one to count. Struck very well. Another great hit for Harper today. Robles will get the third. C should get the second. Second time he's had a solid shot. Second time he's got it to second base. Just out of the reach of the left fielder there. Shai Sokram has got speed. Just not able to get to that one. Step short. The Philippines now with the runners in scoring position once again. Now we have Mark, John, Philip, Peronilla. So Peronilla is in for Genald Pareja. Big swing there from Peronilla. Is going to score two. Well, at least one. They're going to get it in quickly. And that's why Harper C stopped at third. Veronilia, though, is going to have an RBI. Now, Kyle Soberano, who had a hit to left field in his first at bat. Score is now nine to one. Philippines trying to invoke the mercy rule here. I'd like to be able to do that. That'll be really a thrashing against Thailand. That'll go down in the record books, but we'll see. Can't get ahead of ourselves yet. Cal Soberano. Youngster from San Francisco. Watch the runner at second. Going to second, check that. Will that drop? No, it won't. Just foul. Supercore now in a whole lot of trouble. See when they send, they try to send Beronilla. Hit to the other direction. Was it called foul? It's called foul. 
Alright, about that. Bring it on corner. Yes, it was past first base. <laughs> Tremendous play, though, though, by City Cow. Didn't count. One and two now. And they stay in front of it. That was a chance for Peronilla to take off. He went on the previous pitch. Not on that one. The runners at the corners. There's Harper C. A while ago, you saw Peronilla. Runners going. They're going to get one. As Harper C. scores as well. There's going to be two outs. The lead of the Philippines is now at 10-1. Now Busito. Runner still in scoring position here. Two outs with the Philippines trying to end the game right here if they can. Oh, oh. Really foul there. Going for a bunt. Not able to make the play. They, they make the play. That popped out of the glove after the runner was called out. That is going to end the inning. Kind of surprised the defense there, but they were up to the task. Number 17, Pakon Taipao. We just saw a replay a while ago of the last play, and it looked like the Philippines should have been safe. Kasalan is now going to be pitching here against Pakorn. Chaikao. Woo! 
says. Oh, and two is the count. That's fouled back. Once again, battle back here is Pakorn. It's a strike out here for Kaas Alan. His first. Strike out, one out. Now that is number 22, Jake Jordan Chisenkraut. Now we have Chisenkraut. Gonna go straight to Harper C. Let's give him a second out. Great day defensively and offensively for Harper C. Two outs quickly here for Thailand at the top of the eighth. Rioto is a center fielder coming in relief. Basalan was actually at the shortstop position a while ago. They pulled him into pitch. It's going to be the second strike here. And Kaasalan already with a strikeout. Looking for another one. This time goes low. It's going to be the second strike out there for Kasalan. That's going to retire the side. Three up, three down here. And the Philippines up 10 to 1 at the middle of the eighth. 